Someone I know was selling this at an antique market today, but no one could figure out what it was. The only real guess I even heard was that it was for gauging cigar sizes, but that doesn't seem right to me. I told him you guys could figure it out. Thanks in advance. It's a Victorian cast iron cork press, circa 1880s. It squishes the cork so you can put it in the bottle. Also common at apothecary shops to compress corks for medicine bottles in order to fit in the bottleneck. If there are holes in the feet to screw it down, chances are very high that it was from an apothecary, they would be mounted on the counter. Until the 1930s, corks were used to seal bottles of medical preparations so they could be taken home by the customer. What is this wooden base with a wire brush in the middle and a brass loop on top that unscrews? I can't figure out what this is. It was found on the desk of a departed relative, maybe six to seven inches tall and made by the Fuller Brush Company. Any ideas? It's a World War II bore brush for a 40 millimeter artillery gun. It could be given at the end of service or in recognition of performance or likely given to someone who left an artillery unit. It could also be an award or reward for an employee of the Fuller Brush Company. What is this black box with wires attached I found in my 1905 Holmes crawl space? About five inches long, and under the circles there are numbers 0, 4, 6, 8, and 10. One wire went towards the front of the house up into the ceiling of the crawl space, perhaps towards the front door for the doorbell. It felt kind of heavy when I tapped the side. It was not nailed down, rather just sitting on the brick ledge that separates the two halves of my crawl space. Any help you can provide would be much appreciated. It's a pre-World War II toy transformer. This transformer is designed to power model electric train sets. It's made by the Jefferson Manufacturing Company of Chicago, Illinois. I did some preliminary research on these, and apparently they were made ranging from 1916 all the way up into the late 1930s before they switched from the notched stepped voltage controller to the linearly variable voltage controller. What is this leather-wrapped tool? It weighs around 350 grams, fits the hand like a hammer, with a solid head filled with red soil. No movable parts except for the leather strap at the end of the handle. I bought it at a thrift shop, but no one knew what it was. It is covered in leather on both the head and the handle. The head looks sewn together from several pieces of leather, and the handle looks glued together from one piece of leather. The leather is cracked in some places, but otherwise in good shape. It's heavy and makes no sounds. Any ideas? It's a Native American drum beater. The circle with a cross is a pretty good match for a medicine wheel, a popular pan-Indian or New Age symbol. The red soil could be red ochre, a material or symbol in some Native American or New Age religions. What is this copper-colored metal disc? The text on the casting reads, Together molding a better world. It measures about 5 inches across and weighs about 150 grams. We found this discarded near a union building in the UK. With an unknown age and definitely metal, we would be fascinated to know if anyone has an idea what it is, why it was made, what for, and if any others exist. We are absolutely clueless. Thanks. Together molding a better world is Yuri Gagarin's quote. Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet pilot and cosmonaut was invited to Manchester in 1961 on a trades union sponsored tour aimed at promoting economic cooperation between the East and West. Gagarin delighted his audience at the union offices by declaring that he was still a foundry man at heart. Presented with the honorary membership of the Foundry Workers Union and a medal bearing the hopeful inscription, together molding a better world. I wonder if this was a practice item for the medal that was made or a decoration for something related to the visit. Ties in with it being the Foundry Workers' Union. What is this wooden pot-like container that has six spouts and a lid, about six inches wide, and was acquired at an auction in the 1980s? We already knew it was old back then, but we were not sure what the object was. I remember my dad saying something about it being used on dairy farms. Any ideas? 
It's a grohl, commonly referred to as a friendship cup. It is encircled by a number of separate drinking spouts, one for each user. The number of spouts depends on the size of the object. Small friendship cups may feature four spouts, which could grow up to 12 or even more. Traditionally, a grohl is used to serve a hot drink, comprising a base of black coffee to which are added a variety of liquors. This is local to the Savoy region of France and the adjacent Aosta Valley region in Northwest Italy and is usually available and enjoyed after dinner. What is this mini telescope looking device with a hatch on top? The main tube is 350 millimeters long with a 35 millimeters diameter. The other end of the tube has an 80 millimeters diameter graduated wheel with the markings degré, sucre, and albumin. It's sitting on a heavy tripod made in what seems to me to be cast iron. The tube contains at least two optical elements, one near each end of the device. It also has a hatch that can be opened to give access to the inside of the tube. Any idea what this is made for? It's a polarimeter from the early 20th century. It is an antique instrument used to determine the concentration of sucrose and glucose in raw materials and food products based on sugar. The circle is just a scale to show the rotation of the polarized filter inside. You would look through the device and turn the wheel to examine the image of the polarized filter. Solutions like sugar rotate the polarization of light by a certain amount. So by comparing the rotation of a patient with a solution with known concentration, you can determine diabetes, etc. I've used a device like this six months ago during my lab internship. What is this three inch long flared hollow tube I found in a church fire? It has a split that doesn't go all the way through and is hollow all the way through. I found it in a congregational church that was originally built in 1772. Any idea what it is? It's part of an organ pipe, the shallot for a reed pipe, similar to the mouthpiece of a clarinet or the reed body of a bagpipe drone. The reed is mounted to the flat surface and the reed assembly attaches to a larger or longer resonator. This is a decent sized one, though they can get much bigger. What is this large bronze metal object with a skinny base engraved with a fish scale design? It's connected to two metal spinning rings fastened by four metal twist bolts. My girlfriend found this while thrift shopping and we have zero clue what it could possibly be. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.